okay so what do you what do you say if you get a 360s gate score with obc in electronics and communication and uh, your cgpa is 8.05 and you get selected in vlsi iit gandhinagar iit jodhpur iit hyderabad and uh, i think 10 uh, or 10 calls and four or five selections and presently you are in uh, iss integrated sensor system iit hyderabad and the average package this year it's a second time second batch only 20 lakh per annum and uh, highest package is 55 lakh per annum so shrikar uh, the student uh, who got depressed after he got 360 uh, in gate uh, but then he converted multiple selections today very happy very satisfied listen to his journey and i'm very sure you will get motivated Okay, so Shrikar, let me thank you first for the time you spared for this interaction. Okay, sir. So Shrikar, uh, you are presently sitting in a very prestigious institute, uh, IIT Hyderabad, and that too in a very, very sought after course that is ISS, Integrated Sensor System. And uh, you are from self-sponsored category. And this is something which is, you know, a uh, surprise for many students. It is wonderful opportunity, but very less students have so far explored this option. You are also from NIT Silchar. You have graduated from there, and uh, you are uh, from centrally funded technical institute. And the students from SCFTA have certain advantages also. So, uh, Shrikar, I am very sure this interaction will be very, very valuable for the students. So, uh, I come to you first uh, to get information about your academic background. Please tell us uh, you know, what. When did you graduate from NIT Silchar? Which branch? What was your CGPA? And when you gate exam what was your gate score uh, sir uh, actually i am 2020 pass out from nit silchar okay. and i have done my btech in ec that is electronics and communication engineering okay uh, after 20 2020 i got placement i got placed in my college uh, okay. but i did not prepare that well for gate 2020 so i thought that uh, let's prepare for six months i resigned my job and prepare for six months uh, and i have written gate 2021 Mm -hmm. in ec mm -hmm. so to my surprise the question paper was little bit difficult and i was able yes. to get only a score of 360. okay uh, after that like i was completely depressed and for for some time like for one two weeks i was like what is this happening after preparing for this much after spending this much amount of time but i was not able to get a good result Mm -hmm. Then uh, I came to know, actually my father came to know about your PDA, then me, then we like uh, started, I joined the, your post-gate counseling, I came mm -hmm. to know that we can get M.Tech courses, like there are many hidden branches as you say sir, many hidden branches in IITs, mm -hmm. so like this is also a hidden branch only sir, ISS. That yes. is true. <laughs> I'll, come to that. I'll come to that. I'll come to that return on investment part. You know, there's so many misconceptions people have, and you know, getting into career and good jobs is actually easy. But students have so many preconceived things in their mind that I cannot do it. So, uh, so people think that a uh, gate score of like 600 or 700 is only good, and gate score below that is like a waste, and we cannot right. use it. It's not that we can use it. Uh, Today I got a call from one of the students. He said, "Sir, my gate score is coming less than 700 only." And one of my senior told me, "Unless until you get 850 plus, writing gate is of no use." So, so I am surprised to see those kind of things. <laughs> yes, so many misconceptions, Shrikar. Uh, I tell you. Uh, yes, only, anyhow, let me put the things in perspective. You are NIT Silchar graduate in 2020. Then you wrote with electronics and communication gate 2021. Your gate score was 360. You are from OBC background and your CGP is 8.05. Am I right in that? Yes, yes sir. Okay. So now, Shrikar, you are from Centrally Funded Technical Institute, and uh, that means the students of such institutes may get direct calls if your CGP mm -hmm. is more than 8. So can you tell me, Shrikar, uh, one by one from where you got all the calls? So what I expect is like, if you remember, institute like IIT Gandhinagar course, let us say, Electronic electrical mm -hmm. department and MS, MTech, or PhD. What these three things one by one, uh, sir? Actually, first uh, I came to know that IIT Gandhi Nagar is a IIT uh, which direct which don't consider like it considers gate, but if you are from centrally funded technical institutes, it doesn't consider like gate. Yeah, uh, I, I got a call from like uh, Department of Electrical Engineering VLSI, 
mm-hmm. i got call for interview for vlsi and then for mm-hmm. sir as far as i remember yeah, i got ms or phd course what course was that mtech sir mtech sir mtech course iit gandhinagar yes, sir sir okay. iit gandhinagar mtech in vlsi vlsi okay ah yes, sir then mtech in ai also i think sir as far as i remember i got a computer science subject also okay but i don't remember whether it is ai or data science but mm-hmm. i got a call both calls from iit gandhinagar mm-hmm. okay okay so both uh, the calls were from there okay ah uh, mm-hmm. sir uh, then after that uh, uh, i applied for self sponsored in iit jodhpur mm-hmm. uh, one is uh, sensors and iot mm-hmm. that is that belongs to in electrical department only and mm-hmm. another is cyber physical systems sir mm-hmm. that is also under electrical department only mm-hmm. i applied to these branches uh, for in spell cell sponsored category uh, but sir i miscon um, i applied to sensors and iot through coap also mm-hmm. i applied it unfortunately but without uh, it was like, actually a mistake but to my surprise i got a teaching <laughs> assistant in jodhpur iit jodhpur <laughs> Yeah, that is students are not knowing of those things actually ah, yes, when you apply even in a non htra in it madras then ah, yes, it gets converted into htr later sir i was like shocked how as i how i got like teaching assistantship in mm-hmm. iit jodhpur mm-hmm. sir then uh, i gave interview for uh, cyber cyber physical systems through self sponsor and i got the seat also sir like i cleared both sensors mm-hmm. and iot i got the offer and mm-hmm. cyber physical systems also i got the offer sir mm-hmm. uh, then after that i applied for iit hyderabad mm-hmm. uh, mainly in iit hyderabad i applied for all the courses sir like for ta ra direct yes. phd I applied yes. all the things and through self sponsored and coap for mm-hmm. both i have applied sir like i did not leave anything in iit hyderabad mm-hmm. so finally i got call interview call for first i got for iss in iit hyderabad mm. that is through self sponsored course mm. uh, i cleared it and i got a i got offer letter just within like 15 days mm. uh, then my main aim was to get in vlsi sir mm-hmm. because that is you actually know that is most demanding no uh, it is not yes sir but the competition was too high i thought that i cle- i got through that uh, interview but they selected like from 100 students they selected just i think like 5 6 students sir mm-hmm. for self sponsored mm-hmm. and i got interview call for direct phd in iit hyderabad also sir mm-hmm. uh, when i did the interview the interview was for 1 hour sir okay in iit uh, hyderabad no nah, yes sir in iit hyderabad okay uh, the funny thing was like the professor who took my interview in iss and direct mm-hmm. phd was the same professor okay uh, he said that are you appeared for iss and did you apply for direct phd also like you <laughs> asked me directly in the interview ah, you like. told me that now professor <laughs> started recognizing you <laughs> yes sir professor like started recognizing me because i attended three three interviews in one iit okay uh, so i said that uh, they said that okay first you do mtech because di- doing direct phd after ptech is little mm-hmm. bit difficult because okay. you should have more knowledge of like fabrication mm-hmm. and some assembly level languages mm-hmm. so you do mtech mm-hmm. uh, we can uh, give you like direct P- uh, if we can convert it into phd no mm-hmm. no problem so first do mm-hmm. mtech so mm-hmm. there itself i understood that okay they are going to give me only mtech direct mm-hmm. phd mm-hmm. little bit difficult okay mm-hmm. sir after that i applied for iit tirupati also sir okay uh in iit hyderabad i was able to crack only iss through self sponsor okay uh, then i applied for iit tirupati also like in the same way sir i applied for through coap mm. for ta as well as ra sir mm-hmm. uh, so i got the interview call for ra in both vlsi mm. as well as mm. communication signal processing mm. Mm. so i have written the written test and attended both the interviews Mm. Uh, i was able to get the offer letter for communication and signal processing sir okay mm. in iit tirupati okay uh, so the main advantage in iit tirupati is that uh, we can do our course work in iit madras sir okay that is the main reason i applied for iit tirupati mm-hmm. uh, sir in this way like i got four offer letters two from mm. iit jodhpur mm. uh, that is sens- uh, sensors and iot and cyber physical systems mm. 
then i got offer letter from iit jodhpur in mm-hmm. integrated sensor systems mm-hmm. then i got offer letter from iit tirupati that mm-hmm. is ra in communication signal processing sir mm-hmm. and what about iit uh, hyderabad uh, sir what about what about iit hyderabad Uh, IT, IT Hyderabad. Uh, sir, I got I integrated sensor systems. Uh, so that is also one of the offer you got, right? So total. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Offers. Total four offers, sir. So why you decided IT Hyderabad, uh, Shrikant? Uh, sir, because uh, here the subject which uh, specialization which I got mm. it is like more concentrated towards VLSI, sir. Okay. And that was like your personal. Ah, VL... mm. uh, yes, sir. My interest was in VLSI, mm. uh, and when I saw the curriculum of ISS, it is more towards Uh, fabrication of and chip designing. Mm. So I thought that uh, okay, let's go with IIT Hyderabad only. Mm. So, uh, and, but what is what is uh, what is the fee structure? Is a uh, fee structure is more and uh, you know, why you decided for that then? Uh, sir, uh, fees is also high, but the knowledge and the placements are also high only, sir. Because return on investment is also proportionally. Yes, sir, yeah. return on invest. return on investment is also huge on sir like mm-hmm. sir my seniors it it was actually start the brand the specialization was started in 2020 mm-hmm. and in the first batch itself like the average package sir you cannot believe average package is 20 sir <laughs> sir highest <laughs> package, sir, highest package was 55 sir highest is 55 to fresher uh, like mtech yes, sir mtech in iss sir mm-hmm. so the, that is a uh... Uh, to fresher student right the person uh-huh. student is fresher not having any job experience uh, no no sir uh, she had fresher. job experience of 2 okay, years okay mm-hmm. two years mm-hmm. but still uh, if uh, that is a uh, people you can get 25 lakh per, per annum right even job yes sir mm-hmm. so shrikar now you are totally happy yes sir after seeing the placements of like uh, so first... with with the uh, uh, gate score 360 to now <laughs> you know 25 lakh like my life is like completely turned no. okay now shrikar let me ask you should should student be depressed i mean I, i don't know i keep on telling them don't be sad i mean there are options try to explore the options there is a world out there don't uh-huh. keep sitting at home explore the option options are there yes sir right just we should not be depressed just we should keep on trying that what are the opportunities still left like mm-hmm. there there is no end for opportunity just mm-hmm. we should go on exploring them like sir so, i uh, you know i look forward to interview you once again once the you hit 55 lakh per annum package sir sure sir <laughs> i'm sure you will do that you're a capable boy and you know student don't believe us i don't know the reason i keep on telling them there are options they don't believe us that is the reason i need to take help from people like you to come forward and tell about these courses and all so shrikar this time you know the student who will be interested for iss yeah, and uh, they will be going for inter- interview of iss and all it hyderabad maybe i'll request you once again to come on zoom and guide them how they can go forward for that right shrikar okay, okay sir so, my i want to say that there are like other interdisciplinary branches sir mine okay. is also interdisciplinary branch okay. like there is like smart mobility e waste mm-hmm. management these you can find only in iit hyderabad sir like i we cannot find in other iits so i my advice are like i our suggestion is that if you don't get the core branch interdisciplinary is also good and like, the placement is also good it's a smart mobility also like i said that Arre, smart yeah. mobility i interacted with one student today it's ah, a yes, it hyderabad and he was telling crazy placements <laughs> <laughs> yes sir. i don't want to tell here let uh, that video only come but he was saying sir crazy placement this is a second batch of smart mobility yes, first sir. batch is getting crazy placements <laughs> Yes, same sir. thing for iss also sir first batch is just now they are getting pass out in 2022 and ours is just a second batch and student think that waste management is a time waste or something like that they don't understand there is a big placements going on mm-hmm. in those sir and the e waste management is actually taught by like some of the head of the ministry of mm-hmm. education or something sir i interacted with those students mm-hmm. and they say that the professors are like extraordinary the professors who are teaching them mm-hmm. Really and it good. is also very good brands they were saying sir yes yes shrikar that is wonderful uh, institute and i am very sure students will feel motivated to uh, use their scores or no score even if they don't have score through this interaction i want to tell even if they don't have gate score iit hyderabad conducts its own exam also i think interview also mm-hmm. so they prepare so that yes, they can land up in the such institutes and meet people like you yes sir right <laughs> thank you shrikar thank you and all the very best yes, for
yeah sir i want to say that sir you uh, you made an interview with sgs no sir uh, shiv gobind singh sir in yes, electrical, yes, electrical department yes hmm. sir actually he taught as a, a subject in first sem sir okay <laughs> chalo when you meet him pay my regards to him he is a wonderful uh, professor and wonderful mentor mm, and yes, uh, wonderful really, very learned very learned fellow hmm excellent chalo shrikar thanks okay. a lot for your time